Hi guys, welcome to a very special tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how I'm editing my videos and especially how I'm adding those camera tracking effects. Um, a lot of you guys have asked me what kind of camera I was using or what kind of stabilizer I was using to add those tracking effects that follow the dance moves, but actually those are just editings that I'm adding afterwards. And for that I'm using a specific software called iMovie, which is an iOS app only available on Mac computer. There's also a mobile version but you can't do those tracking from your phone. And so I'm sorry for all those who work on Microsoft but I'm pretty sure you can do the exact same thing on other software such as Premiere Pro or Final Cut. And so today I'm going to show you how I edited this video. Okay, let's get down to work. So the first thing you're gonna do is to launch your iMovie app, then create a new movie project. And then from here, you just need to go and select the video you wanna edit and just drag and drop it in the editing bar. Then the very first thing you wanna make sure of is to flip your video to the side like this. Uh, so it takes the whole editing screen. And I know this is quite annoying, but I haven't figured out any solution yet to do these editings without <laughs> breaking my neck. So please, if you have a solution, just, just let me know. And okay, I'm using my keyboard now to zoom in a little bit to have more details in the editing bar. And so just before digging in the tutorial, I'd like to sum everything up for you so it'll make sense when I'll explain everything in details later. Okay, so basically what you have to do is to observe your dance movements first and then think about what kind of frame movements you want to add to it, like zooming in, zooming out, left to right, this kind of uh, movements. And finally, you will have to isolate that part of the clip which corresponds to a specific dance movements uh, where you want to add the tracking effect. So yeah, those are the three main steps. All right, let's get started. So here I can see that we are doing Charleston to the back. And so as we are stepping back, I'd like to add a zoom in movements to it. Now I have to find when the movement stops. So right here, so I just have to click and then go to modify and split clip. As I told you, I want to isolate the video clip with the movement so I can add the tracking to it. And so now I'm trying to find the beginning of the movement, so the first Charleston, and again I click, then go to modify, and again I have to split the clip. Right here. Alright, so now I have a first clip, but I don't want any specific movements to it, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. Then comes the second clip where I want to add the zoom in effect. So I have to go to this little frame tool and I'm going to use the Kin Burns option. Okay, so now you can see there's a starting and an ending frame. So I'm going to play on that. So for the end frame, I want to make it closer to us so I can add the zoom in effect. So I'm going to make sure um, it is well centered uh, on us too. Right. And that's actually it. So I'm going to show you how it looks like. So you see it's zooming in as we're stepping back. But as you might notice, there's a little gap between the frames when I'm going on to the next clip. You see, because I didn't apply the zoom in on the next clip. And so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just gonna reiterate what I did before. So now I'm just observing the next dance movement. So we're just doing some claps, so I don't want any movements to it. So I'm just selecting the clapping part until here. So just click and then again, modify and split clip. All right, so now that I have this new clip, I want to make sure the frame is well blended with the previous one. And so for that, I have to go on that previous one and then copy and go to the next one and go paste adjustment all. The fact that I selected all, um, it will also put the setting of the frames that I um, did on the previous one. So now you can see that the zooming in is also applied to um, this little clip. 
but that's not exactly what I want. What I want is to make sure that the starting frame of this new clip is matching the end frame of the previous one. So that's why I just adjust um, the starting frame so it equals the end. And so now you see there's no more discrepancy. Alright, so that's it. So you see it's not rocket science. You just have to repeat this again and again. Um, but now I'm going to show you the full um, editing so you can have a better idea of the, um, of the whole process and how I'm working on that. So I can see that we're moving uh, from right to left now until this moment. So again, I'm going to do the splitting and uh, do the same thing. So copy the previous um, clip frames to the next one. So paste, adjustment, all. And so you can actually see that the end is equals the beginning because I didn't do any movements to the previous one. But I still want my left-right movement, so I'm just gonna move the end frames towards the left. And so you can see it's following us while we're jumping to the left. <laughs> we're so cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, alright, so that's how it looks like. So moving on to the next part, I can observe that we're jumping to the right side, okay? So until this moment precisely, so again, click and split clip and again do not forget to copy the adjustment of the previous clip and paste everything on the new clip you just created right and go on to the frame tools and adjust the end frame so it equals the beginning and do not forget to add the uh, left to right this time movements by adjusting the end frame towards the right. And here we got our little movements. Okay, so repeating those steps again. So here we are doing some claps until this moment. So I'm splitting again. And do not hesitate to use your keyboard shortcuts actually because it's really time saving. Uh, here I'm showing you everything, but you can really do all these actions with your keyboard shortcuts. So just so you know. Okay, so I just copy and paste uh, the frame and adjust the beginning so it matches the end. Fine, so now I'm just checking if the frames are well blended, so that's perfect. So next move is a front move, so until this moment I can again split the clip. And I'm just going to split again the next clip to save some time, so we are doing a step back, so until this moment I want to add also a movement so I'm splitting um, so we're moving to the left this time until this moment so I'm splitting again the clip and now I'm just going to do all the frames adjustment uh, in a row so remember to copy the previous clip frame adjustment to the next one here uh, and adjust so here I have nothing to adjust because I didn't add any movements to the previous one. But I can add the front movements by putting the end frame towards the front. Then again copy and paste the frames adjustment to the next step and matching the end and the starting point and then moving the end uh, frames towards the back because we are stepping back. Okay, again do the copy and paste onto the next a clip and adjust the start so it matches the end and again moving the end towards the left because we are moving to the left and this is the result cute all right so we are almost done now so just please stay with me until the end so now i just need to repeat the exact same steps until the end um because we are doing the same dance moves but to the other side so i have to split the clip while we're doing the front move then split the clip again while we're doing the back step and normally until the end i don't have to split anything anymore and okay so i don't need to explain anything anymore i think you got it now i have to copy and paste and matches the end with the beginning and move the end frame where i want it to be um, at the end so towards the front then to the bag etc so 
I hope that this makes sense for you guys because I'm so used to it now. I'm not sure that I managed to make it understandable for you. So if you have any questions, just um, ask me down below in the comments. But yeah, the more you'll do it and the easier it will get. Um, personally, it's taking me now around 15 to 20 minutes. So yeah, you just need to make sure to stay calm and patient to make everything successful. But here's the result, guys. Okay, so thank you so, so much, guys, for staying with me until the end. I hope that this would help. And if you need any further information, just please hit me up. Uh, it would be a pleasure to answer to all of your questions. And do not hesitate to go and check out my Instagram, where I post a bunch of shuffle videos. And yeah, thank you. Goodbye.